Well, howdy, folks. It's Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, making another video for you for the Ford timing water pump replacement. Uh, this video is going to solely focus on just showing you how to get the harmonic balancer off. If you've been following this series up until now, so far what we've done <clears throat> is we've removed the upper intake and the throttle body and all the electronic connections associated with that. We've removed the valve covers, opened up what I call the top half of the engine so that way the timing cover can come off. Valve cover removal and everything associated with, with that is necessary for the timing cover to come off. We got the engine mount disconnected. We've discussed that I personally prefer to suspend the engine in order to access the timing cover versus using a jack and a wood block on the aluminum oil pan down there. Um, suspending the engine, although the engine bar has gotten in my way just a little bit, uh, suspending it has allowed me to kind of swivel it back and forth on the chain that I'm using to suspend it on to get room to work and all that other stuff. The water pump, ha uh, not the water pump, the power steering pump has to be disconnected from the engine block, not from the hoses and stuff, but just unbolted from the engine block. And we decided to leave the alternator and AC compressor alone. Uh, disconnecting the power steering pump is probably something you fought with. And so uh, congratulations on that one because I, I fought with it too. Now then, in order to get the harmonic balancer off, some of you may be lucky enough just to be able to reach up and grab it on both sides with both your hands and pull it right off. Some of you are more than likely going to need to go and buy a very special harmonic uh, balancer puller. Okay, and I mean very special. It's the only thing that makes it special is the fact that it has really short, specially shaped uh, claws to go ahead and grab a hold of the inside. And the harmonic balancer is actually designed for this type of puller. <clears throat> so, apologies for that, I'm still drinking coffee. Anyways, um, so, so yeah, go ahead and purchase you one of those or rent one. I don't know if you can rent one for the day from like O'Reilly's or something like that. But if you get to this point and you're wondering what the heck am I going to do, what do I need? You're going to need a small stubby harmonic balancer puller. Now once you have that installed, it should be fairly easy to get off. Shouldn't bite you. I would not use an air gun or anything like that. I would take my time doing this just to ensure you don't damage the nose of the crankshaft there. And remember, you don't ever want your harmonic balancer to fall off. You don't want it to fall, period, ever. Don't, don't ever drop it or bang it up. Always find a safe place to stick it. So you see how that worked? How I twisted that. All right, there's your puller. There's our dowel rod. That came with the puller. All right, and here is the harmonic balancer. There you go, folks. So, all right, so there you go. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. 
again, this is the tool needed with the dowel, and the one that I bought came with a dowel. So, so now that we're at this point, we are now at the point to where we can go ahead and get the timing cover off. So that's what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna start up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a whole separate video for doing that. So I can kind of walk you through that and then we'll, we'll just keep moving forward. So the next video will show removal of the timing cover. Alrighty folks, well, thanks for coming out and supporting my channel. Don't forget to like it and subscribe. If you have any questions, shoot them to me in the comments. Let's trade emails. Let's try to get together. Sometimes it does take me a few days to get back to you guys. And uh, I just get busy with, you know, between the wife, four kids, business, and all that other stuff. I just end up getting pretty busy. So uh, be a little patient with me on that one. So, all right, guys. Well, this is Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, signing off.